Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today this review is gonna be a little bit different than I normally do. I just wanted to kind of do a quick review and update on some lighted knocks I purchased and talk a little bit about why I bought them. Last week I went out to the property and I'm in the process of building my ranch fairy arrows with the lighted knocks that I have, the Luminox. And I only have 12 of them. And I haven't adjusted my bow to those arrows yet or tuned it or anything. So it's still good for my hunting arrows from last year. And so I wanted to be able to go out and hunt and use those arrows and not have to pull them off of my new arrows and reweigh them and figure out which one's good to which arrow. So I ended up scouring Amazon for a little bit and found a product that had decent reviews. The mechanics behind how the lighted knocks worked seemed okay and they were inexpensive. I wasn't paying 40 bucks for three lighted knocks. I think this was like 12, 15, 20 bucks, something like that. And I'll put a link in the description below for these. So I just wanted to show you all the package it came in, how much it cost, and talk a little bit about my thoughts on them. And honestly, I think the Lunox are still a much, much better lighted knock. And I like the idea of not having to have a tool to turn it off necessarily. So I would still always go with those, but if you're ever in a bind or a time crunch and you need something that's gonna work, you know, this is a decent option because I think they are still relatively bright and they turn on consistently enough to be able to put my arrow where I feel comfortable that it'll actually turn on as I shoot these lighted knocks. I'm gonna show you me unboxing these lighted knocks and putting them in my arrows and showing you how they shoot, how to turn them on and off. And I may talk a little bit more about how I like them or dislike them and some of the pros and cons. All right guys, so we're here and I had to buy these knocks in a bind. There's some lighted knocks I bought off of Amazon, pretty cheap. I actually thought they only came with uh, three, but it looks like it comes with six of them and a screwdriver. And so let's see what the name of these are. Hey, watch out them. Hunter's Home Lighted Knocks, high visibility LED, bowstring activated, on off switch, no assembly required, 25 grains. They misspelled total weight. So um, they didn't tell me which color I got on this side. I'm pretty sure I got the green or the red. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but we'll go ahead and open these up and take a look at them. Construction actually seems not too bad. The knock itself seems a little flimsy of a plastic, but when you're a bind, sometimes that's all you can do. So we'll go ahead and put them in a couple of my arrows and see how they look. Well, they fit in there pretty tight and snug, so it may, may be tough getting these out. They do uh, make some sound, so we'll see uh, how they shoot and how they fly with these. That one fit a little bit better. So it came with a little screwdriver here to turn them on and off. I'm not quite sure. I think there's, I'm not sure how we all can see this, but there's a little point right there. I think when your bowstring hits that, it turns it on. So let's kind of simulate that. So that seemed to work. They actually seem pretty bright in here. So then to turn them off, um, looks like there's a hole. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but there's a little hole right here and you just kind of push 
up on it. So we'll do that again. So they're on and we'll try and get and I'll go on the side here and just push up on it. So really not too bad of an operation. I am kind of curious when I knock this arrow if it's going to go ahead and turn it on already. Um, probably not the end of the world if it does, but I can definitely see that happening. Uh, kind of a pain you have to carry this around with you to shut them off, but not a terrible uh, item when you're in a crunch. Let's just make sure this one works as well. Looks like it's good. And then we'll shut it off. So I'm gonna take you outside and we'll take a few shots and see how well they shoot. Out here in my backyard, I'm about to test these lighted knocks that I was talking about earlier. The video that I had that I took at the property didn't really record that well and wasn't really great footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and retest these. It's actually been a couple weeks since I recorded the first video. We've had rain here for probably, I don't know, four weeks straight now. So I really haven't had a lot of time to shoot my bow. So it's probably been three to four weeks since I've actually shot my bow. But I wanna go ahead and finish up this video. I'm gonna test a couple of these lighted knocks. I've got one that's fletched and one that's not fledged. And I'm also gonna go ahead and test all six to make sure they still work. But when I shot them all out of the box, or the bag, I guess, all six had worked and had no issues with them. But I'll show you all some video and some footage of me using these right now. So as I mentioned previously, one of my concerns was when you knock it, that the light would actually turn on. And as you can see, it has not turned on yet, so it seems to be working fine. So I'm not sure if y'all have this issue, but because of this frickin' rain for the past four weeks, the mosquitoes are ridiculous out here. I went ahead and sprayed my fogger, but I'm still getting eaten. So I'm gonna spray some bug spray on myself and take a few more shots. If y'all have any suggestions on what you use to prevent mosquitoes, I'm all ears. So you probably couldn't tell in the video, but both shots, the lights actually turned on, and so they worked pretty well. And I'll take a few more shots at different angles so that you can see how they work. So as you can see from all the footage, these lighted knocks actually work pretty well. And if you're in a bind, I actually would probably buy these in a heartbeat. I've had no issues with them. They've worked almost every single time I've shot them. Not sure what the battery life is. You know, if you have some questions or find this video a year later and have some questions, you could probably ask me and I'll let you know if they're still working. But I plan on keeping these probably on my backup arrows and just shooting them whenever I forget my Luminox or something like that. But again, if you're in a bind, I definitely would check out these lighted knocks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's kind of an unusual unboxing review video, it was just kind of a spur of the moment purchase, but I figured it was something that some people may find themselves in a similar situation. And when they do, then they have the ability to buy something like this and have a somewhat decent review and know exactly what they're gonna be getting from this product. Thanks for watching.